The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I May Know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Christ is our message. For I'm determined not to know anything among you save Jesus Christ and Him crucified. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 2. The burden of our message should be the mission and the life of Jesus Christ. Let there be a dwelling upon the humiliation, self-denial, meekness, and lowliness of Christ, that proud and selfish hearts may see the difference between themselves and the pattern, and may be humbled. Describe, if human language can, the humiliation of the Son of God, and think not that you have reached the climax when you see Him exchanging the throne of light and glory which He had with the Father for humanity. He came forth from heaven to earth, and while on earth, He bore the curse of God as surety for the fallen race. He was not obliged to do this. He chose to bear the wrath of God which man had incurred. He chose to endure the cruel mockings, the deridings, the scourging, and the crucifixion. He became obedient unto death. But the manner of his death was an astonishment to the universe, for it was even the death of the cross. Christ was not insensible to ignominy and disgrace. He felt it almost bitterly. He felt it as much more deeply and accurately than we can feel suffering, as his nature was more exalted and pure and holy than that of the sinful race from whom he suffered. He was the majesty of heaven. He was equal with the Father. He was the commander of the host of angels. Yet he died for man the death that was, above all others clothed with ignominy and reproach. Oh, that haughty hearts of men might realize this. Oh, that they might enter into the meaning of redemption and seek to learn the meekness and lowliness of Jesus. The gifts of him who has all power in heaven and in earth are in store for the children of God. Gifts so precious that they come to us through the costly sacrifice of the Redeemer's blood. Gifts that will satisfy the deepest cravings of the heart. Gifts lasting as eternity will be received and enjoyed by all who will come to God as little children.